Speaking of fun, I want to play a game with you. Here we go. Um, this is going to be the hardest game you'll ever play, but you know, it's PragerU. We've got to challenge you and there'll be no participation trophy at the end. I guarantee you go that. Go for it. Um, okay. The game is called Would You Rather? Mm. So you're going to have to choose uh, between these two options. Yes. If you feel very strongly that you want to elaborate, I'll let you do it. But we're going to try to get through a lot of these concepts together uh, very quickly. We'll start with an easy one. At least I think it is. Um, would you rather tell your wife a white lie or tell her something that would hurt her feelings? Right. So that speaks to the earlier point I made about the ontological versus consequentialist ethics. The ontological would be never tell a lie. Consequentialist would be it's okay to tell a lie if you want to spare someone's feelings. Well, I always tell people the secret to marriage is when you hear the following question, do I look fat in those jeans? Put on your consequentialist hat and say you've never looked more beautiful. So to answer that question, I would rather tell her a white lie and spare her feelings than to hurt her. Okay, no comment from me. <laughs> uh, would you rather gain more influence or gain more wealth? Uh, more influence, although given the current predicament that I find myself in, the wealth would allow me to escape my current reality so that I could gain more influence. So on the abstract, more influence, but money also talks, it buys you freedom. Would you rather live in a constant lie or lose your entire career? I can't live in a lie. As I mentioned earlier, I'm authentic to a fault, so let it be. I, I had a feeling you'd say that. Okay, would you rather live in regret or live with guilt? Guilt makes it seem as though I've done something wrong. And again, being very morally scrupulous, I can't live with the sense of longing guilt. And so maybe regret, oh, I wish I would have taken that art class that I never ended up taking. So I'll take regret over guilt. All right, I know that was a tough one. Okay, would you rather lose your freedom or live in danger? Uh, freedom is everything, freedom and truth. In chapter one of the Parasitic Mind, I talk about those being my two ideals. So freedom rules. Freedom all the way. Would you rather be a master of a trade or a jack of all trades? I'm going to go with the latter, given that uh, Leonardo da Vinci is my hero. All right. I gave you an easy one here. Uh, okay. Would you rather be around competent people or around diverse people? Given that diversity today means irrelevant cues, I'm going to go with surround myself with competent people who know what they're doing. Especially if it's your doctor, right? Or, exactly. your, or your pilot. Exactly. Uh, would, would you rather be the first at accomplishing something or one of many exceptional? Uh, I do have that pioneer complex, and so I'll go with the former. Uh, uh, be the first. You'd rather be the first. Plant that flag that says Gatsad rules. All right. That's good. I didn't expect that. Okay. Would you, okay, this is a good one, I think. Would you rather live in Canada when the weather is perfect for the season or in Texas during a muggy storm season? Texas. Texas all the way, baby. Texas, Texas all the way. All, the way. <laughs> all right. Would you rather be a Jew? In Lebanon, Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Algeria, Yemen, Iraq, Iran, or select any of the other 50 Muslim states, or a Muslim in Israel? I'm Muslim in Israel. Would you rather play soccer or sheshbesh, backgammon? Soccer. Soccer? I, lo I love, I love sheshbesh, and I, I, there's a story of how I won my wife the first day that I met her parents, they're Lebanese also, uh, he brings out in Arabic, you say tawle, which is the situation. Right? And uh, I said uh, uh, to him, we'll play up to five. If I win, I get your daughter. I won. Many years later, he, he told me that I allowed you to win. Of course. Because I thought you were a good guy. Of course, of course. Never give, never give the win away, right? Exactly. Okay. Final one. Would you rather be part of a winning team or the star of a mediocre team? Winning team. Be part of a winning team. Be part of a winning team. I completely agree. Yeah. Well, it's a great way to end this episode. Professor, thanks for coming on. Thank so I love talking to you. That was great. Really fun. Thank you.